two horses seem to sense that spring is on the way, for by this time they seem to be enjoying their work a lot more than they did in November at the ploughing. These days they appear eager to get on with whatever job is in hand. Perhaps they realise that life is returning to the fields and meadows, which of course will mean a sweeter flavour to the shoots of grass. There have been various ways of planting the grain crop over the centuries. Some Irish farmers with a large acreage of ground might have found it worthwhile to invest in one of these horse-drawn corn drills. First invented as far back as 1733, this ingenious machine provided a mechanical way of sowing seeds evenly, and over 250 years later, the basic principle has changed little. For nowadays, modern tractors pulling a 16-foot wide drill can sow large acreages of ground in just a few hours. Farm worker Nilas Crummon tips a bag of seed into the seed box of the corn drill. This seed is called Murus widgeon, an old variety which produces long straw suitable for thatching. This corn drill is a star, also made in Wexford, although on many Irish farms, light and cheaper seed drills were coming in from America in the 1930s. The crows, or rooks to give them their correct name, were never far away at planting time, always eager for a free feed. It was said that during the 18th century, one seed in four was eaten by birds, so it was not uncommon for children to be sent out to walk up and down the fields, banging two sticks together to frighten the birds. Human scarecrows. About 100 years ago, another planting invention arrived here from America, the grass fiddle, so called because of its similarity in arm movement to the musical instrument, could sew a very even pattern to a width of about three metres on each side of the sower. The fiddle, which was more affordable than the corn drill, was used on most small farms on into the 1960s. The seeds will be covered using a chain harrow or a bush harrow, which was simply a bundle of bushes, and then the field would have to be rolled. The reason the roller is used is to ensure that any stones will be pushed down into the soil, for at harvesting time, stones sticking up through the corn would soon take the edge of the reaper knife. The roller would also break up any lumps of soil and would leave the field looking level. This field will now be left until the middle of August, for in the 1930s no chemicals were ever applied to the ground. Weeds would either be pulled by hand or allowed to grow along with the corn. <laughs> 